2.2% for its customers in Brooklyn, Staten Island, and parts of Queens. And it's reported now that the flu has reached epidemic proportions in New York City. But it's also felt the flu has peaked in the area. Not the flu, but hepatitis holds up the sentencing of Funzi Thierry on charges of racketeering. It is not Thierry who is ill, but his lawyer. Milt Lewis has that story. James Jimmy the Weasel Frediano is riding high these days and likely to make a bundle from a book published on the eve of the sentencing of Frank Funzi Thierry, convicted in great part by the Weasel's testimony. I think uh, Thierry is not uh, what uh, Frediano says he is. But since Fratiano got him convicted, he thereby becomes the most important guy. You'll no doubt recall that Jimmy the Weasel put a well-manicured finger on Funzi Thierry at the trial, and then again on network television, calling Funzi the underworld's current Mr. Big. Who would you say is the most powerful mafioso living today? Well, I'd say Frank Thierry. Do you think that the... Weasel harmed you very much yesterday in this testimony. Beg pardon? You don't think so? Funzi Thierry's sentencing was originally scheduled for last Tuesday, then it was put over today. Well, tomorrow, in that courthouse, a new date is expected to be fixed. The delay of sentence stems from Funzi Thierry's lawyer, Jay Goldberg, being in a hospital with hepatitis, which he says he got from Thierry. I spoke with Goldberg today by phone, and he's bothered by all the publicity. Well, the publicity that Jimmy the Weasel has been getting lately, will it have any effect on the judge who's going to sentence Funzi Thierry? It has to happen. It, it has an unwarranted effect, because uh, a lot of it stems from the uh, people of Fratiano and Silk, and I somehow feel that in America, uh, people shouldn't be convicted on the word uh, people like uh, Fratiano. Thierry was convicted in November as a racketeer in charge of one of the five New York City Cosa Nostra families. Jimmy the Weasel, also known as Dr. Schwartz, is being protected under a government program which takes care of informers. Jimmy the Weasel admits to personally taking part in at least five underworld murders and posed in this photo with Frank Sinatra and the late notorious Carlo Gambino who's right next to the weasel. You don't think he's a big wheel in the underworld? I saw no evidence of it whatsoever. Fuzzy Thierry is 76 and faces up to 20 years in the can. Some knowledgeable sources predict that as a result of his failing health and lengthy appeals, Fuzzy Thierry, who's out on bail, won't serve a day in jail. As for Jimmy the Weasel, also known as Dr. Schwartz, as I said earlier, he'll just lay low and continue to testify against unsuspected underworld hoods. One more thing. Jimmy the Weasel does not like to be called Jimmy the Weasel. Got it, Roger? Well, whatever. When Eyewitness News returns...